The following video has been rated as 15. This means that anyone seeing this message that is under the age of 15 years should click off this video now. What up, fellow tubers? This is me too, the working plush pup, and welcome to another episode of The Human Behind the Rabbit. No one tells you tube. But since this episode is going to be hard for her to do, I have taken it upon myself to take over. Today, I'm going to be talking about her stories that led to her having complex PTSD. This first story is from her secondary school involving a classmate that hated her. It involved said bitch, renamed as Addison. That's right. We're renaming everyone involved in these stories for privacy. Anyway, Addison had a habit of being mean to Chu Tube and called her names. Apparently, the term idiot was her favorite insult towards Chu Tube. And on this one day, after a game of netball, Chu Tube could take no more of it. Thankfully, since it was at school, a member of staff noticed that she was very upset. After trying to find out what was going on, this staff member confronted Addison and got her to apologize to Chutube. Since then, they haven't interacted with each other and then the memories were ingrained into Chutube's mind. Poor Chutube. Although this was before we met. I can't believe that you had to go through that. People say forgive and forget. That's not so easy when the trauma does that to your mind. This next story, however, I was a witness to. It happened a few months before Chutube started PA at college. At the time, she and her sixth form class group were studying food hygiene at the college. On this particular day, her legs were feeling like jelly, making her very wobbly and weak. This resulted in her needing to use her walking stick. No problem, right? Apparently not. Chutube got confronted in the worst way imaginable while being confronted by staff. I could tell that she was shaken up by it. I mean seriously though. Do I blame her? No. What if she was in a fucking wheelchair? I mean, forcing her to stand unaided while she was already struggling to maintain her overall balance in the first place. I know very little about the Equality Act, since I'm just a plush pup, but isn't that considered illegal? Anyway, getting back on track. I made sure that she was alright, as her PTSD was taking a hold. Even her classmates were witnessing how hurt she was. After that day, she considered herself a catering dropout. And when she gets her PTSD episodes, according to her, that one is a clear one. And it still scares her to this day. Wait a second. Can an assistant's dog really help her with that? Huh. So that's why she needs a real assistance dog. I see her point now. On that note, that's all the stories that ChuTube wanted me to share. Did you enjoy the video? If so, then I have something vital to say. Please like the video and subscribe to ChuTube's channel to see more fun videos. If you don't, ChuTube is going to send me to the charity shop. So, please like and subscribe. Pretty please. Do you mind sharing the video as well? Who else will be the alpha of the plush pup pack? Thank you. Till then, chew tube mode out. Thinking about it now. I'm nearly 15 years old. Which would make me really old if I was a real dog. Maybe I should warm up to the idea of an apprentice. Oh, <laughs>